Hey guys, I'm Dimension Jumper and welcome back to episode 2 of the Fire Emblems 3 Houses Let's Play. In the last episode, we managed to save uh, Claude, uh, Dimitri, and uh, Edelgard from some bandits, and we've also been asked to become a professor at the academy that they have, um, of the, that are at the academy they, they attend at Garrett Mock Monastery. And now we just to be doing a quest. I assume you are already yeah. aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers Academy, correct? To start, please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the Academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That is your first task here at the Monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Once you have finished, come and speak with me. See, this is going to be our first quest of the game. And also, um, when, uh, and also, and um, this is the f now, now that I'm back at um, uh, halls and stuff. This is the. F it's been a while since I've done a sort of setup like this in terms of me using, you know, stuff I've got laying around and using them to record my gameplay. I think the last time was back a few years ago when I was still at the halls, like. Differently, uh, a different part of halls. There'll be a, there'll, there'll be a um, screenshot of it on screen now. Right, the mini map. Uh, the mini map is the upper right corner uh, of the screen. Uh, shows you your current location, the locations of important people, the direction to quest givers, and more. Uh, zoom or change the map view the ZR button. See, so that's basically what this this is and as you can see we've only seen a few places and yeah this is basically we're going just going to get to know the guys or the characters within the game so like here these are like oh my god that's a, that's a lot of characters um so yeah we're just going to be meeting the characters in this episode so yeah oh hello it's all oh, in the reception hall yeah we're going to be seeing this a lot, just whenever we go into a new area, we're just going to see this a lot. Right, so we've seen Edelgard, and... So, you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity, I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hressbalk. I am the princess mm -hmm. and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. Yeah. I wonder if you'll be yeah, I think the out of all the characters, I, 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 I think all the characters in the game Would you like to know more about any of the are really Eagles? interesting because, okay, because I think all the characters are interesting just because we get to know them, like, from, from these, from, from the leaders of each house, which I think is quite cool, and as you can see, we have d various different characters, like, here, and they all have their own special talents, so I think you got, you know, your uh, mages, your um, archers, your swordsmen, axe wielders, that kind of thing. And I think it, I think we got to get to know them quite interestingly. So let's start with Edelgard and work our way down. Well, some think I'm a bit distant, arrogant even, but there's little to be done. One day I must rise to become Adrestia's next emperor. What else? Well, it seems to me that we may have similar personalities. And also what I like about the characters is that they also have their strengths and weakness as well as abilities that they have, um, that they can use within battle. And yeah, I think that's quite interesting. And I think when it comes to these and the strengths and weaknesses, I think they really help when it comes to the um, class portion of the game so yeah, I think it's really interesting of how we see the different characters and how we can use them in battle or how they can play out in battle and stuff like that. Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vestra. He has served me since I was a child. You may think his blood runs a bit cold but <laughs> actually that's rather accurate. Still if you can ah, I get it. That, He's the quote unquote reasonable. edgy character. He's the edgy character in the game. Right. For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rival and is always trying to challenge me. It's terribly irritating. 
His house is that of Duke Iron, which produces Adrastia's prime ministers. That family is perhaps too pleased with its own status. Or as I like to think of him, the best character in the game. He's like, yeah, Ferdinand is probably one of the best characters in the game, I would say. Just because he's got that, um, just that coolness around him, I would say. He just, he just looks really cool. But he only wishes to apply himself to tasks that particularly interest him, and nothing else. He's also fond of, well, napping. If he had any work hmm. ethic or sense of duty to speak of, I suppose he would be destined to become an official of the Empire. So yeah, so, yeah, he's the typical sleeping indoors kind of character, I don't know. Uh, next one, Casper! He's the second son of Count Berglis. He has no inheritance in his future, which is perhaps why he's always so eager to prove himself. He's overly energetic and rushes headfirst into any battle. If he ends up in your care, be sure to keep a close eye on him. Yep, he's the brother kind of character, I would, I would say. I don't know. She's Count Varley's only daughter. I suppose you could say she's a bit eccentric, but she seems like a gentle soul. I believe she shut herself away in her quarters and doesn't care to leave. What I would like to think of? Worry. Introvert! Sure yay! Oh! Yeah, oh! Yay, introvert in the game! Yay! Shut in, I would say. I don't know. But introvert nonetheless, yay! I love oh uh, uh introvert uh, as an introvert myself, I can relate. But Dorothea is an exception. She's a songstress from a famous opera company in the Empire. I'm not entirely sure what brought her to the officers academy. Uh so she could become I dunno. I I I lost my train of thought there. Final person. Archipelago called Bridget. Petra is the granddaughter of their king. Bridget is a vassal state of the Empire, which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart and studious. Now, what I love about um, Petra from my experience of the game, or from her, from from the experience of play, going through some of the um, Black Eagles route, is that she doesn't understand metaphors very well. Which, which I think is very funny and just really cool because like, cause like she's one of those characters that doesn't understand a lot of, you know, you know, Foldland's lingo, kind of. And I think that's really, really, really funny and there's like, and there's like a lot of funny scenes when it comes to that kind of thing. So yeah, I think, so, overall, I think the Black Eagles have a great fart of characters, a, a, a variety of awesome characters, and I think these are, they, I think out of all of the characters that, that I've seen in the game, the Black Eagles are probably, have some of my favourite characters, uh, and um, the other the other two houses, as we'll see throughout the rest of this episode, they're fine, they're, they're nice characters, but I think all the characters in the Black Eagles are my best. They're some of my favourite characters in the game. And yeah, I think, just, I think it's just mainly because of Ferdinand, um, Beta, uh, Bern Bernadetta and Petra. Just those three characters, just because of how fun and cool they are. Um, yeah, and those, just, those two are just, those three characters are just my favourite. Right, uh, oh yeah, we can't, can we whoop? No, we can't. I don't think we can fast travel yet. Okay, that's a bummer. Claude! So yeah, we can also look at look around uh, the main classroom areas of, of the um, different houses. So we can just talk to some of the characters here and there and everywhere. <laughs> right, um, where's Claude? Ah, hello. Claude, there he is. Well, well, scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude Von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Leicester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as 
difficult as the other two. Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? As luck would have it, I'm pretty curious about you as well. But what's life without a bit of mystery? Let's just spend the next year or so learning about each other little by little. Oh, okay. I thought there'd be a bit more, but... Huh. Yeah. Thought there'd be more. He's the heir of Gloucester territory. If you haven't already picked up on it, he's a bit arrogant and fancies himself a ladies' man. Yeah. That said, deep down he's really devoted and honest. Though I wouldn't mind never hearing him talk about his noble obligations ever again. Okay, so he's... No, I've got no idea. I, 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 I love my junior, I, I love my thoughts for him. There, next guy. He comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. Seems like he's had a rough life. Despite all that, he's just about the most cheerful guy you'll ever meet. His passions are training, eating, and actually that's about it. So I think he's, I think Raphael, oh, I think I'm pronouncing the right, is the basically tank? I think, or the hard hitter of the game, or, or one of the characters that's a hard hitter as well as a tank, I would say. That's from my experience and from what I know, so don't quote me on that. Next guy. He's the second son of a merchant family. Since his brother will inherit the business, he's training to become a knight. If you ask me, it doesn't seem like he truly wants to be a knight. He's probably just doing it to please his parents. So yeah, uh, okay, so he just wants to make his family proud. He's a, uh, um, ooh, nope, lost my train of thought again. No, 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 that's, I tell a lie. Um, no, I've got nothing, I've got nothing, sorry. I've got nothing. Lysithia is the daughter of Count Ordelia, and is mm. probably the youngest student here. But watch out, she gets angry if you treat her like a child. As for me, I do it on purpose. You have to make your own fun in this place, you know? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, uh, so, she deals in magical spells. Yeah, magic spells. Magic. Magic, yeah. She, she wields in magic. Yeah, so... Yeah, so... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know where I was going with this. Marianne is Margrave Edmund's daughter. And that's pretty much all I know about her. She doesn't interact much with other students, so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of folks here have never even heard her speak. Ah, right, uh, so she's kind of like, um, Bernadetta in a way, in terms of they don't really speak with other people, I would say. So yeah, uh, next character. Hilda is the only daughter of Duke Goneril. It seems her father and brother coddle her quite a bit. If you look up Lazy in the dictionary, her picture won't be there because she never got around to submitting it. <laughs> Not too unusual for a noble, I guess. Uh, Claude, uh, Claude, I would say is the best character out of the Black Eagles. No, the, not the Black Eagles, the Golden Deer. I'm getting confused with my houses here. Um, so, Hilda, hmm. Yeah, Hilda's, I would say, an okay character, I would say. Uh, uh, yeah, an okay character, I would say. She wants to be a mercenary. I think she said that her father is a hunter. She's pretty blunt and as stingy as they come. A habitual saver, too. I think she's hoping to repay her village for helping to send her here. Hmm. Yeah. I think she's a cool character. Uh, Len Le Leon Leo Lenu Leone? Is that right? Or am I just saying it? Just remembering the name from JoJo's. Uh, I, uh that's how fully I pronounce it. Um, alright, um... Oh, yes, um, before I find the final character, Dimitri, yeah, uh, let's have a talk about the characters of the students. Oh, so you're the skilled That'd be mercenary cool. who saved Claude, are you? Oh, you are? It's such an honor to meet you. Ignaz Victor, my parents are Alliance merchants. And I am Lysithia von Ordelia. Please do not forget it. See, I think... It, I think talking around with the characters quite, kind of helps a bit, kind of to, apart from like, you know, talking with the house leaders, because then it'll help you see um, who, who they are exactly, the and something Claude. like that. 
Honestly, you should not have troubled yourself over the likes of him. My name is Lawrence Hellman Gloucester. You will want to remember it. Yeah, so like talking with the characters, you know, in the houses kind of helps, I would say, so you can experience or see what for yourself what's Hi, going into guessed? when it comes to the two little well, much houses, three houses. No, Raphael, that's Captain Gerald's kid. Hi, I'm Leonie Pinelli, Captain Gerald's first and greatest apprentice. I'm sure he's told you about me. Nice to meet you. I'm Raphael Kirsten. Who are you again? <laughs> oh, Raphael. He's a funny character, I'd say. Hey, are you that mercenary? Everyone's been talking about you. I'm Hilda Valentine Goneril, and her name is... M Marianne Van Edmond. Are you joining the Knights of Saros or something? Well, I look forward to seeing more of you. Okay, bye-bye. Right, now... Okay, okay, before I see Dimitri, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna talk to... Uh, the black eagles and the golden deer. Golden deer is already done. And then once I've spoken with Dimitri, we, we can talk with the blue lions. Yeah. Is it true that you saved Edelgard? That's incredible. The name's Caspar, by the way. Please tell me. Oh, Caspar. Linhard. Goodbye. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> Linhard. How'd you get into the academy oh, with those manners? That's just a so, deadpan reaction all the way. Maybe we'll be in the same class. Oh, oh, the naivety, the naivety of youth. I am Hubert. I think I'm saying that right. Servant of Lady Edelgard. I, I might be thinking that right. I'm not sure. To the aid of her highness, you have my most sincere thanks. This is Petra. She has come all the way from Bridget to study in the Empire. Back on her archipelago, she is actually a princess. In Fodlan terms, she would be called heir to the throne. Hello. I am called Petra. I am pleased to be meeting with... Uh, no, uh, I am pleased to have met you. So yeah, so Petra, because she's new to Fodland, she oh. doesn't really get metaphors a lot, or how to use what... I think, I, I think you know where I'm going with this. Ah, what? I don't talk to strangers. Yes. Dada, this is no stranger. Our house leader owes this person a great debt. I think I found Is that not right? I am Ferdinand von Eyer, legitimate son of the Eyer family, the Empire's foremost house. Are you going to join our class? Yes. I look forward to getting yes, better. Yes, I will. Uh, uh, there is no doubt that I'm going to be joining this class. Well, Hell yes. Are you just lovely? Is this your first time in the monastery? Shall I show you around? Yes, please. Oh, <laughs> my name is Dorothea. Before I joined the Academy, I was a member of an opera company mm. in the Empire. You should hear me sing sometime. Hell yeah. I found second best girl. Okay, I found two best girls in the same house. I, I know I'm choosing. I don't care. I am choosing. Okay. I know which house I'm choosing. Please accept my apologies for the other day. You came to our aid, yet I hadn't even the courtesy to properly introduce myself. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathed, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Of course, at the Academy, I am simply a student. And I've heard word that you are to become a professor here. Delightful news. I still have much to learn, but I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance. In any case, welcome to the monastery. I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Did any of the Blue Lions catch your attention? Yep. Me? Oh, um... Please forgive me. It's difficult to open up on the spot, don't you think? I'm afraid my story has not been a pleasant one. I do hope that doesn't color your view of me, but I understand if that can't be helped. So yeah, I, I think Dimitri is because like we, we don't. He, uh, I think at the beginning, um, he doesn't tell you much of his backstory. But I think when if you choose his, um, his route, he does. I think start to open up to you a bit more and more throughout the game, and then. When it comes to about what halfway through the game, he he's I think he starts to fully open up to you, and then then everything happens throughout throughout, throughout the events of the game. I'm not going to spoil it for people who haven't played the game yet and are thinking of playing the game. And yeah, so I'll say Dimitri is an interesting character, and I think interesting 
Oh, uh, <coughs> sorry. An interesting character to. Um, I think an interesting, 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 uh, interesting character, and I think he's just uh, has a very sort of dark background, I would say. Um, and again, I'm not going to spoil it for people who haven't played the game or haven't gone through or have played the game and haven't gone through Dimitri's um, storyline yet. Dudu was born in Dusker and has been loyally working in my service for the past four years. He's rather taciturn, but once you get to know him, you'll see he's a kind and good-natured young man. Mm, yeah, to do. Uh, again, he's a so I think he's a um, another heavyweight. I think in terms of him, like um, Raphael, him. I think both those two, both those two characters, can hit hard, and as well as well take damage. I think because they both have similar strengths here. So I think yes, yeah, so yeah, they're both two. Um, Interesting characters that have or both two tanks in a sense in terms of the RPG words feelings I think yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this Felix is the heir to house Raldarius. He has a bit of a sharp tongue, but don't let that fool you Deep down. He's a good guy. He gravitates toward people who are skilled Perhaps you would enjoy a friendly competition with him sometime so Yeah, he's a Bit competitive, I would say. Yeah, so yeah, he's basically competitive. Yeah. Basically what Dimitri said. He's the adoptive son of Lord Lenato of Castle Gaspar. But I hear he was born a commoner. He has an extremely earnest personality. So I'm certain he will approach your lectures with great enthusiasm. I don't know why, but he, his face kind of looks a bit like mine. I'm not... Uh, uh, if you look at Ash... Ashy, Ash. I'm just gonna call. I'm just gonna call him Ash. He, his, he, he's kind of. I think. He, yeah, his face kind of. Not a hundred percent, but kind of looks a bit might like mine, but with silvery grey hair. I, I don't know. I. It, that'll be. That'll probably be a. I don't, I don't know. Maybe not. But I, 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 It could be just be me. Just. He, his face structure kind of looks a bit like mine. I would say. Not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, next one. Sylvain is the heir to House Gautier. He is a capable person who highly values his friends. That said, well, he's always been a bit of a <clears throat> skirt chaser, so to speak. So he's Part a. So he's a. Um, I speak with him about it often, uh, but it doesn't seem to help. What's the word? What's the word? Um. Ah. Uh, um, oh, what's the word? It's on the tip of my tongue. He is a... a d I, uh, I, I lost it. I lost the word. I think you can kind of understand where, what Dimitri was talking about with that. I hear she was born to Imperial nobility, but a twist of fate brought her to the kingdom. She may seem carefree on the surface, but she's actually a kind soul who pays careful attention to everyone around her. Hmm. So she's a... Wallflower? Is that right? I'm probably saying that right. She's a bit of a wallflower, yes? No. I would say a hard maybe. Okay. Next character. Annette is Baron Dominic's niece. She is a talented student who scored extremely high marks at the Royal School of Sorcery. She's cheerful and hardworking. Brilliant, really. Though, she can be a bit oblivious at times. I hear she caused an explosion in the kitchen last night. Oh my god, she's like, um... Mechamin from, uh, Konosuba. Because Kon cause in Konosuba, Mechamin uses, um, explosion magic. And that is it. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Final character. Ingrid is in, Count Galatea's uh, daughter. Blue lines. She's also a childhood friend of Felix, Sylvain, and myself. She is diligent, industrious, and principled. In truth, she is more knightly than most knights you will ever meet. Oh, okay. I appreciate your effort. Right. Finish the completed quest. I, I have no idea where we were um, going with that. Okay, let's continue explore, exploring. And then, just so I can talk to the blue lions. Hey there. Are you the 
mercenary who saved his highness? It's an honor to meet you. I'm Sylvain Jose Gautier. Feel free to say hi whenever you like. Okay. That's him to talk to. And who's this? You don't look familiar at all. Do you work here at the monastery? Oh, mercy. Do you think this is that mercenary people have been talking about? Now that I think about it, that does sound like something Dimitri may have said. I suppose you'll be enrolling at the Officer's Academy too, then? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Mercedes, and this is my best friend. I'm Annette. It's nice to meet you. Okay. Next two characters. I have heard all about what you did from Prince Dimitri. As a citizen of Fargus, I thank you. He also said you're quite skilled. And he doesn't just say things like that. I look forward to sparring with you and being you. Oh. Felix, must you always speak of fighting right away? Oh, and to uh, the egotistical guy. It is a pleasure I guess. to make your acquaintance. Right, uh yeah. Final two characters of the Blue Lions. Hi there. You must be the one everyone's talking about. I'm Ash. Great to meet you. Ash, okay, I was this saying right then. He serves Prince Dimitri. I have heard that you rescued his highness. Words cannot express my gratitude. Should you ever require my strength, please know that I will hasten to repay this debt. Uh, yep, yeah, return to where? How are you enjoying your time at the Academy thus far? I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. All so different. I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining two houses. Which house will I choose? Now, originally, like last week, um, after I'd released the first episode, I was going to do a um, sort of roulette type of wheel thing where it would have the different houses on and then I would spin the wheel until I until one of the houses was chosen but I know which house I'm going to choose and that is the Black Eagles but uh, let, I'm, I'm just going to go through um, you know each description of them because they all have different descriptions and they all talk about or they just have a small um, description of what they have to say about each house so, the the Adrast ah, Adrastian Empire, Black Eagle House, a house for students from the Adrastian Empire. Many are nobility, and most of them use magic. Holy Kingdom of Fargus, Blue Lion House, a house for students from the Kingdom of Fargus. Most value, or most 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 value chivalry, and exile at military arts. Lister Alliance. Golden Deer House, a house for students from the Little Alliance. As per regional tradition, many are skilled archers. So yeah, so that's a brief description of each house, but I know which, I'm, which one I'm going to choose, and that's Black Eagles. So you have chosen the Black Eagles led by Edelgard, correct? Yep, because they have some of my favourite characters in the game. Your heart has made its choice then. Yeah, they have my favorite characters in the entire game. Guide these open minds with virtue, care, uh, and sincerity. This is gonna be fun. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Brother? Oh, oh I am brother. so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. Oh, brother. I am in Father. the of something, Flame. Oh, that's is an inside joke no one's gonna no, get. No, it's nothing. More importantly, this is our newest professor at the Academy. Oh my! A new addition to the Officer's Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. 
In a few mm. days' time, there will be a mock battle between ah, the three houses. Mock battle time! To Yay! The progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Wait. So our new professor is you? I didn't see that one coming. Easy, Caspar. Aren't you being a bit rude? You know it's a waste uh, of now time, time to get to know more, even more about the characters. Pleasure, so, right, hell yeah. Professor. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to take a nap. Oh, <laughs> he's off. <laughs> don't look at me like that. Oh, and please don't talk to me too much either. But you're best girl, though. <sighs> you're I'm best sorry girl. for the chaos you've walked into. I hear we are rather close in age, Professor. I hope you do not mind if we treat you like one of us. In our class, we try to treat each other as equals, despite any differences in age or status. Personally, I would love to include you in that inner circle. Hell yeah! Um, I don't mind that at all. Hell yeah. have a good, Professor. I will take great joy from your teachings. Yay! Petra, I believe you mean to say that our Professor has guts. That's a bit different from having a gut. You can't go oh. around saying someone so slim and attractive has a gut. Mm. Oh, uh, he says I'm attractive in the game. I have Yay! Not yet mastered this language. Uh, Pet. Oh, uh, these. I love the characters in this house. The, they're just so cool. Especially like you know Bernadetta, Petra, the, the other, uh, the singer, the opera singer one. These, like, those are the best captives in this house, <laughs> and then in the game. But I'm certain you can lead the Hell yeah. House to sure, sure. Now let's break the ice with a training session. I want to see our new teacher in action. Why will the ice be broken? <laughs> Is this a custom I have missed in my studies? Oh. <laughs> ice, just the ice of, um, uh. well, it just means let's get to know each other. Oh, I love I Petra. I train. She's cool. She's awesome. Down and have a nice yeah, Dorothea, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I forgot her name for a second. <laughs> oh. I know we all agreed to treat each other as equals, but there is a limit to what I can tolerate. The esteemed Black Eagle House requires order. Hmm. Oh. See, I at least just have some of my favorite characters. Looks like your first job will be to quiet down this racket. I don't envy you. Ah, the edgy character. They're not normally this rowdy. Mm. I do hope you can manage, Professor. Oh, hell yeah. I can handle this. A bunch of students. A bunch of students. And swapping items. Yeah? Yeah, swapping items. Yeah, just a bit of hints and tips from the game. Yay! Ugh, I've got to say, this... The loading in this game is kind of... It's all over the place, the loading sometimes. Sometimes it's quick, sometimes it's slow. Sometimes it's in the middle. Oh my god. Um, oh, there we go. There we go. Um, the new places to explore in the monastery. Received 1,000 gold from the Church of Seros as funding for this month's activities. Hmm. Won't hurt a bit. Promise. That's what they all say. You don't know about crests. <gasps> How dare Allow you? Me to tell you everything. Oh. Absolutely everything time about them. time for some exposition. This will take a while. Crests are a fascinating Oh my god. Exposition exposition time. Topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. They are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Mm. Each crest has its own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. 
Uh, and you believe I have a crest? I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest, and you just happened to inherit it. That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. Uh, do you know where, uh, what, what you can find out, or there's no need to look into it? Uh, let's go with the top one. Yes, of course. He I'll liked that response, the yay! Straight away. Now then, please go ahead and hold out your arm device here. What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? To think, there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How thrilling! <clears throat> Pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. I have mm. more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. But for now, your work here is done. Hmm. What could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. Or perhaps... Mm. What in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. Hmm. Okay. Now I think we get to explore the monastery in this part of the game, or we, you can you can now explore. Yeah. Moon, oh, okay. Of the Hello. Academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. It notes nice the days on which events and missions will take place that month. Pay careful attention to your schedule, so that you may thoughtfully plan what you intend to do each month, and when. Okay, so this is basically what we can do. Start the game, when, it, when, we're, when, when we're not in classes. Um, yes. So this is my room. I, I thought I had a girl's voice, uh, but I must have heard things. I think that's what it said. Um, so anyway, I think I'm going to end it there for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.